Hello everyone, recently I have been working very hard to find the fastest operation system for an old laptop at home that is more than 12 years old so that it can continue to be used again. Play games and cast the screen to the big TV to see movies is still pretty good. I tried to install Linux, Ubuntu, Windows 7, Win 8, Win 10 and Windows 2002 etc various systems on it. I wanted to compare and find a fastest system and I tested for more than 10 hours. In the end, I still found that uh, Windows XP is the most suitable for old laptop PC. It is the fastest and it is not stuck when playing games. It can also be used as a movie player and it is very cool to cast the screen to a big TV to watch movies. You can install Windows XP with a USB flash drive. It is very simple. Okay, then go to my computer and have a look. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my PC, the Asus laptop. This laptop uh, has been more than 12 years old. So I installed the Windows XP, which is the most suitable uh, system for this old laptop. I comparing with Ubuntu, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows uh, uh, 2002, all kind of uh, operation system. And I, I confirmed that uh, Windows XP is the most suitable for the old laptop. Let's have a look the uh, this system's uh, uh, equipment. Have a look the system's equipment. So you can see I've installed the uh, Windows XP 2002 with the Service Pack 3. And uh, you can see the uh, CPU is Intel, Intel Core 2 dual CPU, which is uh, more than 12 years old CPU. And uh, the memory is 2 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte memories. And uh, I installed uh, three games for here, three games, the CS Counter-Strike and the Red Alert and uh, the GTA Grand Theft, Grand Theft Vice City. These are very ancient um, um, games. So, and I also installed the Chrome here. So we can use this uh, Chrome to see the movies. Let's open the Chrome, have a look. Uh, yeah, I, because I installed the Plex, so I can see the movies on the Plex. I still can use this uh, Windows XP, this old laptop, to uh, cast the movies onto my uh, big screen. So I will use this uh, Chrome uh, web to see the movies online uh, on the Plex service. Uh, so it is very useful functions uh, using the old laptop. Okay, then uh, let's have a look. This uh, this some games. For example, the GTA Vice City. Okay, I open it. It's cool. You can see Rockstar Games. It's a very ancient games. So very cool. Yeah, Rockstar Game. You can see I still can use this uh, game and it run very fast. For here, you can see I still can run the car. It uh, runs very fast, smooth. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, next let's have a round this uh, red alert. Yeah, this is also very ancient, a classical game uh, in 20, maybe 20 years ago. A simple game and uh, to start a new game. Very easy to do that and start the game. Yeah, you can see this is my basement here. And commander? yeah, cool, right. On our way, sir. So my basement start. So if you can remember your childhood, you play this game. It's a very funny, very interesting game when you uh, play this game on the Windows XP, okay? And the last one is this uh, Counter-Strike. I think it is also a very popular game, maybe 20 or 20 years ago. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so we can play the game with the uh, computer. Yeah, cool. Okay, now ne next step, we go to my another computer to see how to how can we uh, create um, uh, how can we create a USB drive to install the Windows XP because Windows XP in the past twenty years ago it, it don't support it don't support to install the Windows XP uh, by the USB drive. It is normally by the uh, disk by the disk CD CD disk. So uh, on this video, I will share with you how to install the uh, Windows XP use a single USB drive. Okay, let's move to my another 
PC. Okay, welcome to my another PC. I will use this PC to create the USB flash drive to install the Windows XP. Okay, then uh, we open these so two websites. The first one is the website, is this uh, link. I will put this uh, website address down below this video description, and then you click this video, this click this link to download the Windows XP directly. Okay, first to open this. Uh, website although it is in Chinese but I don't think if uh, you, you have any uh, problem to use it first we go to this this character Chinese we go to this character operation system or you can uh, right click and translate into English translate then they will be translated into English okay so then uh, you can see operating system here this uh, operating system click operating system and uh, go down and from above you can see Windows 10 those are uh, operation system for you to download then you click this Windows X XP here Windows XP and uh, click the English here English and th above is Chinese version uh, this one is the English version and then you can click that like this one Windows XP professional VL ISO CD image click it and uh, click the detail button click the detail button and you will see the e, to e donkey download link you can click this download link select the download link and right click and copy copy this uh, copy this uh, the, uh, link to your e donkey your download uh, applications to download this uh, Windows XP directly from this uh, website with this link you can download different uh, versions of this uh, Windows XP like Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 2 click the detail and you can copy this link to and copy and to put into your download link um, of your application download uh, application to download it okay because I already downloaded it so uh, uh, and we will, we will move to the next website the next website is download is uh, easy to boot. This easy to boot is very useful to create the Windows XP uh, USB drive because you can see with the XP and with the uh, include the here include 32 bit Windows XP driver, which means this uh, USB this tool can be used to create the USB flash drive with uh, included the Windows XP drivers uh, such like uh, the SATA 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 drivers and other related drivers to make it available to use this uh, USB drive USB drive to install the uh, Windows XP. Okay, then uh, I will also put this link down below this video description for you to download. Then let's click the download button to download this uh, easy to boot application okay let's have a look there's uh, several versions of this easy to boot and we needed to download the biggest one this one 30, uh, 66.5 megabyte this uh, us this zip file this easy to boot this, this file with the uh, password password is e2b okay we click this one 666.5 5, this version of the uh, easy boot click it to download it because I already downloaded it so I don't need to download again okay so two file downloaded this um, uh, X, um, with the uh, easy to boot download it and then we move to my download folder here we will see that uh, this one is the uh, Windows XP ISO file yeah ISO file and th this one is the uh, easy to boot uh, zip file already downloaded then I right click to unzip this file to my folder the password is e to b just uh, here e to b and click OK to unzip this file onto my folder OK finished unzip then we go double click to go to this folder and you will see make e to b this uh, applications but before you uh, double click this uh, this application you we needed to uh, connect our USB drive with our PC here connect with the USB drive with our PC connected here with our PC then we just uh, right click this make e2b this application right click and start with uh, administrator start with administrator here start with administrator and click yes and you will see that your USB drive will be identified here this is my USB drive okay click select your USB drive and click this uh, make e2b drive click this button click it 
and it will give you a warning all the data on this USB drive will be erased okay no problem I uh, there's no data on this USB drive so I click OK and I click OK again click this OK click OK again and it will give you the warning again yeah play press OK to erase all the data on your USB drive you click OK and click uh, to OK to erase all data on this drive we click OK click OK and here you will see the status of this uh, progress after finished you will click enter click no I don't need it click no and click enter okay so finished the E2B let's have a look the E2B is here already created for my USB drive create my USB drive then you can see this folder of ISO so we can we need to copy the ISO Windows XP ISO file to this uh, Windows Windows XP here Windows XP we need to copy the file in onto this XP folder okay then we go back to our folder go back to the folder and copy this uh, ISO file Windows XP ISO file to the E2B here ISO and uh, go to Windows and uh, go to XP and we copy this uh, Windows XP file onto this folder okay we finished this uh, process and we needed to uh, just unplug this uh, USB drive from this PC and we go to my um, laptop old laptop to install the Windows XP from, from this USB drive okay I just uh, plug this uh, USB drive to the old laptop and uh, we click this uh, start button and we needed to uh, go to the B BIOS uh, for my PC I needed to continue to ESC to press the ESC button to for me to uh, start from the USB drive for you for you you needed to uh, Google your um, laptop version laptop brand to see which button to uh, get into the settings of the BIOS to start from your USB drive different brand has different button for example F2 or F F10 or F12 it's depend on your uh, brand of uh, laptop for me I just click uh, the ESC for ESC then I can see this uh, start from USB this uh, menu will be appear so ESC and click enter to start from my USB drive okay easy to boot is started then we go go to the menu okay so now we get into this uh, menus then we needed to choose the uh, install the Windows install menu here we go to the Windows install menu and click enter click enter okay then you will see step 0 step 1 step 2 first we needed to use step 1 uh, click enter and the next after we finish step one then you then we will reboot the reboot the window reboot reboot the PC and we needed to go to this uh, USB drive again and we needed to go and go to the step two so this is very important uh, first we needed to step one and after the reboot finished the installation after reboot we still need to reboot from the USB drive and go to step two then we the third step we need to boot from our hard disk internal hard disk with this uh, Windows XP okay click select step one and click enter okay here uh, this is a, a question then you need to click enter click enter okay it will recommend to it will load the XP ISO file into memory recommended so it will read the file the total file size is 600 megabyte and it will it will start to read your file click enter again click enter so it will start to read the file onto your memory okay the loading of the ISO file finished then we go to install process of the install uh, Windows XP okay then we click enter to continue click enter then click F8 to agree click F8 so then we needed to delete the uh, we I will uh, install my Windows XP into the uh, C into the C drive 2 here uh, 50 megabyte 50 gigabyte here this one so I will install to this uh, uh, partition then I needed to delete it click D delete this 50 gigabyte to install this my Windows XP into here so I will select this one and delete it click enter click L to delete it click L to delete it then uh, I needed to create a new partition here 50 50 uh, 50 gigabyte click C 
and uh, click enter to uh, uh, start this uh, partition process and then I will install this uh, Windows XP here 50 gigabyte and click enter so I will uh, make a format to format this partition here format it and then it will copy file onto your uh, hard disk okay finished the copy then the uh, when then this uh, PC will be rebooted in uh, 15 seconds so I will click enter to reboot my PC again then we needed to click the ESC for me I will continue click the ESC uh, button to uh, reboot the PC and uh, start the PC from my USB drive again to use start from my USB drive again select my USB drive here the USB drive to start this uh, to go to in the step two to go to into the step two as I mentioned previously so select this flash drive and click enter start this easy boot uh, screen again okay and now we go to the uh, installation menu again to the Windows install menu again go to the menu click enter okay so we go to step two previously we go to the step one so next we needed to choose step two this one step two step two okay then after that we click enter and now it will it will load the iso file windows xp iso iso file again this file is a 600 megabyte so please be patient after it finished the loading of this iso file then we will continue the installation of the windows xp okay uh, finished the loading of the iso file so this uh, cost is around 10 uh, minutes it's dependent on your speed of the usb flash drive so you can see windows xp started and it will you will go to the installation process uh, screen okay so you will see that uh, this is in this installation process for me it's chinese for you you inst uh, download the english version here we have english and uh, it's said it's around 39 minutes are left but is this not accurate actually it will take you around 10 to 20 minutes it is, it is faster than this uh, estimated uh, time okay we're just uh, waiting for this uh, installation process and we will next step we will go to the windows xp uh, uh, xp desktop after this uh, installation process just uh, be patient and waiting okay so now the whole process of installation the windows xp is finished now this pc will be rebooted and this time we don't need to reboot from the flash drive so i just unplug this flash drive to unplug this flash drive and uh, now the pc will boot from the internal hard drive and windows xp can be booted from your internal hard drive here have a look yeah and now we logged into the windows xp uh, desktop and then you needed to install the drive the drivers for your uh, windows xp system according to your um, your laptop version laptop uh, hardware then you needed to go to the official website of your laptop uh, this is a brand lap this is your, your the brand of your laptop and find the uh, suitable drivers for your windows xp so that uh, you, you will uh, use Windows XP which is more smoother than any other I mean the applications like Ubuntu the other Linux or the other uh, kind of uh, uh, systems so the Windows XP is very suitable for your old laptop and it is very fast then you, or you can use the uh, driver genius or driver uh, combo to install these uh, drivers for the Windows XP for your old laptop okay if you like my sharing don't forget to thumb up and see you next time bye bye